slow night, Mr. Torrance. Not for long, I imagine. You're a whiskey man, are you not? I was, most of the time. On the house. This was your brand, Jack Daniels. I used to see the bottles in our home, our real home before all this. I smelled one once. It smelled like something on fire, which I suppose it was. I'm afraid you've confused me with someone else. It's Lloyd. Lloyd. I apologize, Mr. Torrance. I don't know where everyone is, but it'll pick up. Oh, I know where they are. And you're right. It'll pick up. If you don't mind my saying, Mr. Torrance, you seem put upon. Put upon? Ain't that the way? Man just living his life, trying to do his work. He gets put upon. Pulled into other people's problems. I see it all the time, if you don't mind my saying. So we lived in Florida. I'm sorry? Mom and I. I'm afraid I don't know who you mean. We never wanted to see snow again. So we lived in Florida. Tiny place, but it was comfortable and we were happy. I mean, we were grieving. We were traumatized, but there was happiness, too. But she... She would look away. She'd look at me, but she'd always look away after a second or two. It took me a while to notice it, but after the overlook, she wouldn't look me in the eyes, not for long. Couldn't figure it out. But... It, It was you. She saw your eyes in me, and she'd have to look away. It tortured her to have to do that, so I fixed it. I fixed it for her, and it was the last time I ever used it, so that she wouldn't see you anymore when she looked at me. I was 20 when she died, and back then, I saw when someone was gonna die, I saw flies. Black flies, death flies, I called them, circling people's faces. And in those last weeks, she was covered. Her whole face. I could barely see her eyes. And I, tr I tried to comfort her, but I could hardly look at her. And she saw that. She just lay there dying with her son who couldn't look at her. Maybe something warm to push away such unpleasant truths. Don't you want to hear about it? She was your wife. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm just a bartender. Oh, yeah. Just Lloyd the bartender, pouring joy at the Overlook Hotel. I'll pour whatever you like, Mr. Torrance. Oh, Dad. This drink will cost an awful lot. Your money's no good here. Orders from the house. It'll cost more than money. It'll cost me eight years. Eight behind me and who knows how many in front of me. Your credit is fine, Mr. Torrance. Man takes a drink. The drink takes a drink. And then the drink takes a man. Ain't it so, Dad? Medicine. Medicine is what it is. Bonafide cure all. Depression, stress, remorse, failure wipes it all away. The mind is a blackboard. And this is the eraser. A man tries. He provides. But he's surrounded by mouths that eat and scream and cry and nag. So he asked for one thing, just one thing for him, to 
warm him up. To take the sting out of those days of the mouths eating and eating and eating everything he makes, everything he has. And a family, a wife, a kid. Those mouths eat time. They eat your days on earth. They just gobble them up. It's enough to make a man sick. And this is the medicine. So tell me, Pop, are you gonna take your medicine? I'm not. Oh, look at that, I'm sorry. Clumsy old me, Mr. Torrance. Forgive me. Let's get you cleaned up. Management is concerned. Concerned? It's horrible what she's done to you. Pulled you into her mess. A smart man. Well, he'd let her handle it. Let things unfold as they're meant to. Why should you pay her tab, dog? And for what? For this little girl who started all this trouble. What will management have me do about that? Nothing. Easiest thing in the world to do, son. Just bring her inside. And then, well, you accept the things you cannot change. <laughs>